Wait, what is this, an ad? Hey, I gotta eat too, you know. Are you sick of losing? Well, I have just the thing for you. Pro Guides just released a bunch of new Smash Ultimate courses by the legend Zero himself. It's got everything you need, all in one place to improve your Smash game. Learn to master advanced techniques like dash dancing and teching. Learn combos, this way you can beat all your friends, your parents, your enemies. Zero himself, that's right, you'll get so good that the student will surpass the master. And did I mention that it's free to sign up? I probably should have started with that. You can also sign up for a pro membership, which is worth the couple bucks a month if you're really looking to step up your game. To learn more, check out the link in the video description. He's too big. This week's character breakdown is Ridley, the subordinate of Mother Brain who made his first appearance in Metroid for the NES in 1986. Ridley has other aliases like Geoform 187 and the Cunning God of Death. He has made appearances in other games like Nintendo Land and the comic Captain N the Game Master, and Ridley's name pays homage to Ridley Scott, the director of the first Alien film which the Metroid games have taken a lot of inspiration from. What's up YouTube, I'm Choctopus, and this week we are breaking down Ridley, the famed space pirate, extraterrestrial dragon, and Samus's arch nemesis. For heavyweight, Ridley has a pretty dominant air game and long-ranged aerials with some decent air mobility. Now remember, this is a weekly series, so be sure to vote down in the comments section below for who you'd like to see next week, and let's get into the breakdown. Ridley's jab is this three-hit combo where he does these two swipes, and this is supposed to be a headbutt, but it looks more like a dance move to me. But it's safe on shield, so you can use it against your opponents. It's also good as a get off of me tool, so if an opponent is being super aggressive, use your jab to knock them away. Now if you hit A quick, it will turn into this rapid jab, which is this tail stab that can actually do a lot of damage really quickly. The attack also knocks away at the end. Just be careful when you're using it because if an opponent does escape it, they can punish you. With that being said, the best place to use it would be the end of the stage so you can trap. Next up, we have Ridley's dash attack, which is this lunging bite. Surprisingly, it kills pretty early, so against lightweights, you can pick up a kill towards the end of the stage, around 100%. Next up, we're going to cover Ridley's smash attack, starting with his F smash, which is this explosion breath. It does not reach very far, but oh man, is this thing powerful. Towards the end of the stage, uncharged, you can pick up a kill around 65%. The attack is also safe on shield, and you're going to use this to punish your opponents when they do something dumb. So if they have a bad landing or whiff an attack, use your F smash to get that kill. Next up, we have Ridley's down smash, where he will slam both of his wings on the ground. Now, this attack is not as strong as your F smash, but it will kill around 100% for lightweights. And it's really good for re-grabs on ledge. So if your opponent does re-grab, this is what you're going to be using to punish them. Now it does hit on both sides, so if you do have an opponent that is doing a lot of rolling, this is going to be your go-to. And now being that Ridley does hop, you can use it to avoid low attacks. Then we have Ridley's up smash, which is this overhead kick, and it's a really strong anti-air move. It is also the weakest of the smash attack, so you're not going to get a kill till around 120%, but the attack itself does have intangibility on Ridley's leg from frames 12 to 16. If you have an opponent that is coming down overhead with an attack, use your up smash to counter it. Ridley's neutral B is his plasma breath, which can be tapped to spit one fireball or charged all the way up to five fireballs. The attack is good for gimping recoveries, so you can just safely fire them from the platform. Ridley's plasma balls will also beat out weaker projectiles, so if your opponent is camping, you can use it to beat that camp. Now. You can also use it to force a high recovery if your opponent is trying to recover, and it's not going to happen here, but you can force them to recover high, which will put them in a bad spot, so you can either kill them with a up smash or you can follow up with an air attack. Ridley's side B is Space Pirate Rush, which is a command grab, and it cannot be shielded, so if your opponent is very shield happy, you're going to use your side B to grab their face and drag it across the pavement. The attack goes a crazy distance, so if you hit side B, your opponent's going to be dragged the entirety of Final Destination before launching them away at the end of the stage. Now, if you hold down B, Ridley will actually do a jump, assuming he doesn't hit the end of the stage. 
However, if you're too close to the edge, even if you hold B, Ridley will not do a jump. Now the same works in the air, so if you knock your opponent off the stage and you're feeling spicy, you can do one of two things. You can hit side B, hold B, jump and try and recover while gimping your opponent's recovery, or you can just hit side B and you can drag your opponent down. Now Ridley's going to die first, so this probably isn't the safest option. However, you can try to use it if you like when recovering if your opponent is trying to ledge guard, but I don't recommend it. Then we have Ridley's down B, which is his skewer. Now this thing is crazy strong, but it does have a very small sweet spot, which is the end of the tail. If you hit them with any other part of it, it's not going to knock them down. In fact, it's actually pretty weak. However, if you hit them with the tip of the tail, if you hit them with the tip of the tail, you're dealing 60% damage and you're going to knock them down. Now you're going to use this very rarely, mostly to punish something uh, that your opponent does that is highly punishable, like if they whiff an attack and they have a lot of cooldown, use down B to cripple them. The attack itself does have a lot of end lag, so do not go around spamming it. Like I said, use it very, very conservatively, especially when you know you can hit with the tail because you can do a lot of damage really quickly. And unfortunately, the attack itself doesn't really have any follow-ups. And last, we have Ridley's up B, which is his wing blitz, which is his recovery, but can also be used as an attack. Now, this is probably the most awkward recovery in the game. You can kind of go four directions, but it's very restricted on angles. So you can go straight up. Hitting down will bring you down and slightly forwards. You can go forwards and slightly down, or you can go back and slightly up. Like I said, the angles are very restricted. You can't go anywhere else other than those four weird directions, but Ridley can also do three jumps, or he has two air jumps, so it makes it a little better for taking your opponent off the stage and doing some offstage stuff, because you can kind of recover. It's a little more forgiving, but just be very careful, because if you're here, there's really no way to recover, because if you're going straight up, you gotta hope you can make it back to the stage, because you can't angle it in a way where you're going to be able to go on, like, let's say a 45 degree angle. Ridley has some good tilt attacks, and you're going to be using them a lot. His F tilt has really good reach, it has a sweet spot tip as well, and you'll know because you'll get that sweet, sweet sound effect when it hits. The attack is also good for poking. Literally, you can poke your opponents with your tail. You can also angle it upward or downward. Uh, angling it upward is good against opponents that are short hopping in because you can use it to catch them on the short hop. And angling it downward is good for setting up some kind of tech chase. And this thing is pretty strong. It can kill sweet spotted around 130%. Down tilt is this tail swipe and it has a giant reach. This is going to be your go-to ground move because it reaches really far. Also has a sweet spot, also good for poking, and it leads into most aerials, so you can use it as a combo starter to go into things like a forward air or at higher percents, not higher percents, but anything above zero, you can use it to go into a neutral air. Up tilt is this overhead swipe, and it combos well into itself at low percents. Uh, you can use it as a non-committal anti-air, so if you don't want the commitment of using an up smash, you can use an up tilt. Up tilt is another good combo starter because it puts your opponent right in front of Ridley, so you can use it to follow up with a Nair or even a Fair. The attack itself can be used to kill, but at super high percentages, so starting at 160, you can use it to kill lightweights. But overall, Ridley has some good tilts, so don't be afraid to use them often, especially his down and up, which are going to be your primary combo starters. Next up, we have Ridley's air attacks. Now, his air attacks in combination with his tilts and his throws are really how you're going to be playing Ridley most of the time. Unfortunately, he doesn't have super extensive combos, and a lot of them, if not most of them, are done at low and mid percentages. So let's start with his Nair, which is this spinning kick, which is universally his best air attack. It's a great attack for ledge guarding because you can use it to knock your opponent further away from the ledge. You can also use it for juggling if you have your opponent up in the air. You can do multiple Nairs and knock them further away. And at low and mid percents, it combos really well out of both down tilt and an up tilt. Now the attack itself can also be canceled on the ground, so if you do land it, you can fast fall and cancel it. 
Then we have his fair, which is this triple attack with his tail. It has a sweet spot as well. It's also really good for spacing. So if your opponent is being aggressive, because he has great reach with it, you can use it to space. It's another air attack that does combo well out of down and up tilt as well. Like, do you see the pattern here? Ridley doesn't have too much depth with his combos, but you can also use it to drag down. So if you knock your opponent up in the air, you can fall and cancel it to drag your opponent down. Similar to, let's say, Greninja's up air or Sheik's. The attack also works nicely as a combo ender, but you can also use it to push your opponents further off stage. His back air is this back kick, pretty similar to Samus's, and it is his strongest aerial and his best offstage killing move. So if you do get your opponent off the stage, a nice back air will kill them pretty early. The attack also combos at high percents from either a down throw, a down tilt, or an up tilt. However, you're going to have to practice your rush aerial reverse, which can be done by running and then jamming the control stick the opposite direction and then jumping and doing a back air. Next up, we have Ridley's up air, which is this overhead attack with his wings. It's not as strong, but it is a good juggle tool, so you can use it to juggle your opponents overhead. Now, as far as picking up a kill, you probably won't pick one up until around 120%. Also, if your opponent is ledge guarding, you can use his up air to poke through the stage. Last but not least, we have Ridley's down air, which is this stall then fall attack with both of his feet which you're rarely ever going to use. It has a ton of end lag, so it's easily punishable, and you have to do a significantly high jump to be able to do it off the stage and still recover. I recommend never using this. It can spike in the early frames, but I wouldn't even try it, to be honest. And last but not least, we have Ridley's grabs and his throws, and there's really not too much to them. You have his forward throw and his back throw, which are pretty weak, but they're good for establishing stage control. You have his up throw, which is his most damaging, and it's good for starting overhead juggles. And then you have the down throw, where he bounces his opponent directly in front of him. And this is going to be your best throw for starting combos. So you can do things like a down tilt into a neutral air at low percents. You could do it into a fair, which works well into mid percents as well. You can even do stuff like down throw dash under to an up tilt, which can extend into up tilt into a neutral air or forward air as well. And then you can do stuff like down throw, dash under, up tilt, nair, forward air, forward air, and then you can attempt to recover. So that's it for Ridley's breakdown. Honestly, there's not much to him. He was my most neglected heavyweight for a while, but I started playing him more recently, and I've been enjoying him because he's so simple. Ridley is going to thrive in situations where you can exploit an opponent's weakness or mistake, so make use of attacks like Nair and Tilt, especially when you're in an advantage state and have your enemy in a corner. On the opposite side of things, Ridley struggles when backed into a corner, so if that happens, make use of attacks like Nair, forward tilts, jabs to get your opponent off you. Now go get some wins with this vicious space pirate. If you like this video, click the like button. That's why we call it the like button. If this is your first video of mine that you've seen and you want to see more, there's loads of other content on my channel that I would love for you to check out. You can also subscribe and ring the bell if you want to get a notification when I do upload. This way I can live inside your phone like a little YouTube fairy. Thanks for watching and we will catch you in the next one. Later.